afternoon guys how are we all doing been a few weeks thanks to this lovely lockdown we're in i uh, hope you're all okay and keeping safe uh like a lot of wild campers um myself we're stuck indoors at the moment we can't go out uh, i know a lot of guys have been kipping in their gardens with their tents and whatnot but i can't do ground dwelling anymore as i previously mentioned so what i thought i'd do today i had something come through the post today and i thought i would do a little review now it's my very first review on anything so uh i don't know how it's going to turn out but hey we're going to see and uh, hope you enjoy it uh i was watching a video a welcome video funnily enough the other night uh one of um scottish bandicoots and he was filming the Jarrah Wanderer. Uh, check out his page, guys, and channel on YouTube, the Jarrah Wanderer. Really nice guy. Uh, lots of useful stuff on there as well, so check it out. But anyway, they were on a wild camp, and um, <clears throat> the Jarrah Wanderer had a pack. It's called the Viper Tactical Shoulder Pack, which is this. Uh, and I saw it, and an idea hit my, hit my head. I thought, well, you know that's an ideal little pack just for going out into the woods you know if i'm just going up into the woods like i've done before um just go out for a cup of coffee just chill by a little campfire just chill out you know so i thought i'd get myself one which i have and it's arrived this morning uh quite funny actually because i got frosted glass on my front door and i was walking up to the door at the same time as the postman delivered it and the postman shouted out oh you've got a very heavy parcel yeah, of course I have, mate. But anyway, uh, yeah, so here goes. As I said, Viper Tactical. Uh, uh, I ordered it off um, Amazon. Uh, it's come out in, there was a complete, about four, four, five, I think, different colours. One of them was camouflage, which is this one, which is what I got. It's uh, just quite a sturdy pack. Sorry guys, chicken chaser, aka scooter. Feels quite a sturdy pack. Uh, nice thick shoulder strap to go over your shoulder. I did try and put it across my head, but it just feels too tight. I don't know if you can uh, play about with the straps and extend it a little bit. I'm assuming you can, but we'll see in time. And. Uh, that I tell you what, I'll be honest with you guys, it is like Mary Poppins' his handbag. And no, I'm not going to start singing like Dick Van Dyke before anybody asks. You've got, I don't know if you can see it. Nice little pocket by there. You've got another one by there with little compartments inside. Can you see that? I hope you can. You've got the main, uh, another one on the top here, and the main compartment. Uh, it says, that in, oh, sorry, my mistake, and you've got this one here as well. Now it says in the description 10 litre. Mm, I think this might be a little bit more than that myself, but hey. As I said, the uh, pad, the material is really tough, quite tough material. So I, I, it'll take a battering, not literally. Really good. Um, plenty of D rings here to hang stuff off of. Um, play, quite a bit of room inside, actually. In all fairness. Now, when I first um, thought about doing this uh, video, because I haven't done one for a few weeks and I was itching just just to get outside for a couple of hours, I thought, well, what I'll do. I'll do it as I'm packing to go up to Camp Fubar and do a bit of work. So I've done that already. I packed it this morning uh, with quite a bit of swearing as well. My usual tactful way. And uh, yeah, I managed to get all of my kit inside. The only thing I couldn't get inside was my collapsible shovel, uh, which I put a D-ring on to hang on the outside. And also the samurai saw. Uh, what I've done, got a length of paracord, tied a little knot, simple little knot there, 
and I can just hang it off it. Job done. Now, I was earlier on um, using that pouch at the back for there for my axe and uh, samurai saw. Now, I showed it to a friend of mine and uh, he was like, why didn't you just use the D-rings? So, unfortunately, I couldn't get the D-rings to fit my axe, which is through there. So, what I did, paracord. And it was only afterwards that I found this. Perfect. Memo to self. Don't rush into things. Look first. But yeah, handy little uh, holder like this for my axe. I mean, obviously, every time I take this out, I'm not going to be taking my tools. So, you know, if I'm just going to go for a coffee in the woods or something, just want to chill out for a few hours, the um, axe and saw will be staying at home. So, anyway, I've got this uh, quite a bit of kit here. I've got some toilet roll, I've got uh, the insect repellent. Obviously, hotter weather's coming now, and when I'm in the woods, the midges love me. So, or love my blood, whichever you want to put out, whichever way you want to put it. So, that's a must. I've uh, got some antiseptic wipes from a British Army ration pack. I've got my uh, fire shield. I've got my collapsible cooker. Teaspoon for when I have a cup of coffee. Uh, I don't take. Um, jars of coffee anymore I've got like two in one just coffee and milk uh, powder great stuff I think it was like three quid and a pack of 50 from farm foods so it was a really good investment for me I think and uh, I do the takeout camping so I just take four or five whatever how or however many I want and put it in my cups fish bash job done got this little knife as well nice little knife still quite sharp so, yeah, this is be the one that will be in here all the time. I've got my gloves for obviously working. And I've got my PCB stuff. Well, I've got my cook pot, PCB cook, uh, uh, Crusader 2 cook pot, cup and water bottle. Now, anyone who anybody uh, who knows anything about the BCB these water bottles you could run a tank over them and still be fine really robust really handy so I'm using that and I've got my uh, custom made lid for my cook pot so anyway enough waffling let's try and get this packed without me swearing mm -hmm. I can yeah I can hear everybody laughing right now Anyway, so there's my axe. Ideal. That's all. Got me saw. That's the saw hanging off the side. Easily enough. Collapsible shovel on a D ring. Again, hanging off the side. I know it's a little bit of extra weight, but collapsible shovel is needed, obviously, if you need to do a shovel recce. Mm, I'll let you guys work that one out. Just think of you take a shovel with you and you take toilet paper. So, yeah. I'm sure you can work out what I'm implying there. <clears throat> Right, my cook set. Go in, voila. My lid. A teaspoon to stir me coffee. Here we go, here's the fun bit. It's my folding stove. Fantastic bit of kit. I have seen another one on a video. Lee uh, Willens, aka T Size Patriot Wild Camper. Thank you, mate, for the link. I got it. I will be getting one, just not yet. But thank you, you know what I'm on about, mate. Oh. 
Perfecto. Um, it's actually wipes in the bed. My knife in the back pouch. Uh, in this little pouch at the end, I've got some. I think it's about a 15 foot length of paracord. It's always handy. Just put it in there. If I need it, it's there. My gloves. Shut up, phone. In there and clip them in. Thank you. Two sheets of toilet paper, always handy. Stuff it in there. And voila! There we are. Might look a little bit cumbersome, but it's a great little pack, guys. You can get anything you want into it. I would recommend it. I wouldn't obviously, you know, if you're gonna go uh, wild camping, you're not gonna get everything in there, but this is an ideal little pack just for carrying bits and bobs if you just pop it into the woods just for a chill or a forage. So I know a lot of guys do foraging. Or even if you're on a wild camp, it's handy to take with you. You can put your phone charger in there, your phones, um, anything really. You know, the stay cutting up your pockets, you can put everything in there. Perfect. And it doesn't take up a massive amount of room, and it doesn't weigh a lot either. But even with that in there, that lot, it doesn't weigh a lot. So, anyway, uh, there you go. It's only a short video. Um, there you go. That's me ready for a camp. Well, ready for a few hours in the woods, which I will tell you now, once this lockdown is over with, that is what I'll be doing. Um, I'm hoping the weather's going to stay like this when the lockdown is lifted because sooner it is and we're allowed out to do our hobbies etc I am straight into the woods I promise you that whether it's a camp or a few hours whatever I will be straight into the woods it could be midweek whatever I will be out so anyway um, look after yourselves guys please all of you stay safe thank you for all of the subscriptions um, before I go I would like to say a massive heartfelt thank you to all the key workers out there who are looking after us at this time. The NHS, the paramedics, the police, fire, fire and rescue service, especially down here at the moment. I don't know what it's like where you are, but in South Wales since March, we've had over 300 deliberate gra uh, grass fires set and the fire service has worked tirelessly uh, putting them out. So thank you to them. Thank you to the Coast Guard, uh, the sh staff in the shops who keep the food shops open, like Asda, Morrison's, etc. The truck drivers still delivering stuff. Thank you all. Look out yourself. Stay safe. I'll catch you soon. Toodles.